So this video is going to be about blood types. So there are four different blood types that an individual can have. A, B, AB, or O. And so this is an example of how multiple alleles can complicate the inheritance of um, a particular gene. So we know that A and B are co-dominant to one another, and, but um, A and B are both dominant to O. So for an individual to have um, an A blood type, they need to have at least one I, um, A allele, and then this other one could be um, either an IA or it could be just an I. For them to have a B blood type, they would need to have IB and then either another IB or um, just an I. And for an AB, they have to have IA and IB. And then finally, for the O blood type, they would have to have two little I's. So just remember, um, IA is co-dominant to IB and both of them are dominant to just I. So now that we kind of understand um, what's required to have each of these different blood types, we can look at an example problem. So in Campbell Biology's 11th edition, this is question two at the uh, back of chapter 14. So it says, a man with blood type A marries a woman with type B blood and their child has type O blood. So we have a man with A and a woman with B and their child has O. So what are the genotypes of these three individuals? So we know that for an individual to have um, an O-type blood, they have to have these two alleles because this is the only possible combination of alleles that will give us this blood type. And so we also know that for um, an individual to have type A blood and type B blood, they need to have at least an IA and an IB. So now the mystery is the second um, allele in each of these individuals. So for each of these individuals to pass on um, one of these um, alleles for O-type blood, they have to be able to have it in the first place. So that means both of these individuals need to have um, one of these alleles that they can then pass on to the offspring to give their child type O blood. So we know because of these different requirements to get these particular blood types, we're able to put the pieces together and figure out what the genotypes of these individuals would be. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.